Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve a becoming question issue when copying or transferring files from one folder to another on your computer and the process just seemingly stops or doesn't allow you to finish or conclude transferring the files. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up Windows Features. So open up the search menu and search for Windows Features. Best match should come back with term Windows Features on or off. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to go down to the Remote Differential Compression API support. Right here. And you want to go and uncheck that option to turn that off. So once you've done that, select OK. And give that a moment here. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and select close. Open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, I want you guys to type in ipconfig, followed by a space, forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word, attach to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back up Windows IP configuration, successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, again exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter. Again, should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart your computer in order to complete the reset. Once you've done that, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your device. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point of issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. Do a buzz up to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.